I'm going to dip in, get my mask on. We're going to go underwater. We're going to have a good time. We got to cool off. Summer is blazing down here in Florida. And it's going to be fun to kind of hang out with a turtle that is not the most beautiful, but is definitely interesting. Here we go. Look at this brown water snake, guys. So flippin' cool, isn't it? Let me see if I can grab it. Ooh, I guess not. Hey, what's going on everyone? Kenan here, and it is hot. So I thought, you know what? We have not been in the Aquascape Recreation Pond for a long time. So why not get back in there and visit with a turtle that you guys see all the time, but we've never actually swam with and we haven't talked about uh, as a feature uh, on this channel. I'm talking about the giant Asian wood turtle. Now, I just put this huge male in the pond and you would think that he was gonna be all freaked out, right? But he's not. He just started seeing green and he started eating. Now, this is why I can't keep these guys in the pond because they'll eat all my nice lilies. So in addition to that, we're gonna feed some cichlids today and we're also gonna look for two map turtles that I put in the pond about a month ago, and I did that because they eat snails, and there are a lot of snails in there. And then, if we're lucky, I'm gonna use my red line tongs here, and I'm gonna see if we can feed some of those map turtles, and maybe even this character, underneath the water. Oh, that feels good. Oh my gosh, it's so hot out there. Uh, so like I said, we definitely see a lot of these giant Asian pond turtles, but we haven't spent a good amount of time with them underwater. So we're gonna do that here in the rec pod. Um, I think they're a fantastic species. Um, a lot of people kind of get, maybe think that they're just a little drab, but not me, I love them. These guys are found all over Southeast Asia. And just like the Hieremes anadeli or temple turtles, these guys are found in a lot of Buddhist temples where they're placed as an offering to Buddha or it's believed that if you save something's life, it's, it's a, a good omen to you, it's good luck to you. Unfortunately, they put them in these ponds, the ponds get overcrowded and no one feeds them. So it's not exactly helping anybody out, especially if these guys we're in a nice wild pond or stream, which is where they normally can be found. They're also a species that is under threat of extinction or over hunting for food. And um, the reason being, obviously, just like a lot of the Southeast Asian turtles, uh, they're big, they grow quite large. Males uh, tend to get larger than the females, but the females still are a pretty good sized turtle. Now what's cool about what's going on here, guys, is this turtle here is really going to town on these weeds that are growing in my pond. Now, I kind of like that. This is like a workhorse turtle. And um, I used to have a lot of aquatic vegetation in the main pond where these guys are found, but because there's over 50 of these in the pond, they ate through all the vegetation. And now I just can't keep vegetation in that main pond, which is why the main pond is so chocolate milky. It's got a lot of suspended, um, you know, uh, debris, not debris, but like, oh gosh, is it flock? I don't know what the, the direct, the, the actual term is, but suspended uh, material, like, uh, what am I looking for? What am I trying to think here? Oh, I don't know, minerals? Yeah, that sounds good. You know, clay, things like that. Now, if I were to have vegetation in there, like hyacinth, or water lettuce or any other floating vegetation, uh, all that material would get collected to the roots of those. And uh, I wouldn't have so much drama or it would be a little bit clearer. Well, whatever, it's, it's okay because I'm happy to see those turtles in there anyway. I'll tell you what we're gonna do also, people. We are gonna feed some cichlids because I know you guys love cichlid updates. So I thought, hey, let's do a little feeding of these cichlids and you guys can see just how crazy they get from under the water. So let's check it out. Here we go. 
because that guy's just hanging out still. <laughs> this guy's just chowing away. It's so cool to see these guys eat under the water. You can really see their personalities and just how aggressive they are at feeding. These guys love it. Uh, we are seeing a lot of those beautiful cichlids that I got a couple months ago from my friend Michael O'Neill, photographer. If you guys remember that video, uh, go check it out. Really cool guy, loves cichlids, and travels the world photographing animals all over the place. He's been to the Amazon, he's photographed Cayman, and uh, anaconda as well as all kinds of fish. Very cool stuff. I'm gonna get back underneath this water and see what's going on. Oh guys, guess what? Just underneath here is the snake. What do you say we get under there so you guys can check it out? Here we go. Maybe the snake will get lucky and get himself a little fish. What is Look at this brown water snake, guys. So flippin' cool, isn't it? That this snake just lives right here. He's starting to stick his tongue out. He's a little nervous. I don't want to scare them. I always want these snakes to really feel secure here underneath this deck. That snake's getting big. And you know what else is cool? Is you guys have seen the video where Slinky eats a snake. He ate the, the uh, banded water snake that was living here. But this guy right here, my goodness, this is so cool. This is actually a brown water snake. I'll tell you what, because he's already going to move, let me see if I can grab it. And maybe we can get some shots of this dude going under the water. <laughs> I guess not. I don't know. Where'd he go? Let's have a look see. Did you guys see him? I don't see him down there. Oh, it would have been cool to get some underwater footage of a snake. He was quick. He just disappeared. Oh, well. I'll tell you what. Let's go on a little safari under the water. And we're going to look for at least one of those two map turtles I put in here. Let's check it out.
Okay. I found her, but let's go see if we could feed her. This should be fun. I now know where she is. Ooh. But I want to see if she will take some food for me. This should be fun. I like experiments. She's been in here now a while. And bat turtles tend to be a little bit more eh, shy. So let's see what happens.
I got to tell you, I think this might be my favorite swimming with I've ever done. This guy is so friendly, and I knew this would be an awesome turtle to hang out with. Just chill, doesn't care that I'm here, starting to nibble anything. I love it. Well, folks, let me just go ahead and get rid of this here. Masky, grab the turtle. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know if I got a bat in the cave. But anyway, let's just focus on this turd. What a beautiful species. I've had these for years. And, um, you know, I'm really grateful that I have a large enough pond to facilitate this amazing species of turtle from Southeast Asia, Heosemis grandis, or giant Asian wood turtle. Just a gorgeous species. And it's at home on land and in the water. So anyhow, folks, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I'm glad we got to see one of the map turtles. We saw the cichlid. We even had a snake in this video. So we had a little bit of everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just want to shout out my friends at Aquascape. These guys have been just tremendous in helping the camp grow and giving me such a beautiful habitat for me and my animals to share. So there you have it. Another fun video. Thanks so much, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you again real soon. Take care.